letter Cody Basque gets first World Cup gold. Lake Placid, New York, AP, Cody Basque learned plenty about driving from Stephen Holcomb in their years together on the U.S. bobsled team. And now he's a winner in Lake Placid, just like Holcomb. Basque, who had no medals in his first three years on the World Cup bobsled circuit, finished a spectacular opening weekend to the season with the gold medal in the two-man race Friday at Mount Van Hovenberg. It completed a two-medals-in-two-day start to the year for Basque, who reached a World Cup podium for the first time with a bronze Thursday. Today was for Holcomb, said Sam McGuffey, who pushed for Basque. We have his name in the back seat of our sled. It's really special. Basque and McGuffey had the fastest runs in each heat, finishing the two runs in one minute, 51.73 seconds. Justin Cripps and Alexander Kopich of Canada were second in 151.84, and Justin Olsen and Evan Weinstock of the U.S. took third in 152.13. More, this was a strong first weekend for the U.S. bobsled team, which took five of a possible nine medals, one gold, two silvers and two bronzes, from the pair of two-man races, and the women's race in Lake Placid. Basque is the first American other than Holcomb to win a World Cup two-man race since 2009, when John Napier prevailed in Lake Placid. Holcomb had given the U.S. each of its last ten World Cup golds in that event, including last year in Lake Placid with McGuffey in his sled. I'm really proud of Cody, said U.S. driver Nick Cunningham, who was fourth. He had Holcomb on his mind all week. Olsen came through in the clutch as well. Overall it was a really great weekend for Team USA. Holcomb, the longtime leader of the U.S. bobsled program, died unexpectedly in his sleep in May. There were two two-man races in Lake Placid because of a ruling earlier in the week about ice conditions. To make up for that, there will be two four-man competitions in Park City, Utah, next weekend when the World Cup tour resumes. Photos, Olympic Flame begins journey to South Korea.